Hello and welcome back to XCOM 2 War of the Chosen. My name is Saiken and today we're going to run the No Shot campaign where we're going to try to beat the game on the highest difficulty, Legendary Iron Man difficulty, with only swords and magic. Uh, in other words, we're not using any guns or explosive weapons. It's time for Operation Tomb Giant, uh, month number three and a half or four, I think. Um, it is going more towards the mid game now and we got a pretty solid uh, team overall we just uh, reduced the avatar project and are just barely um, s uh, scraping by but we need more contacts and we also need more intel unfortunately i also want to continue with uh, the uh, black market which is why we're bringing uh, the guys towards uh, this mission to counter the dark event for the black market we're going to get intel somewhere else if needed i'm just going to scan for it we do not get anything since we re didn't really get any loot um, in the last mission and yeah today we're going to hopefully level one of these guys uh, we're seeing that their willpower is already a bit reduced so we're probably going to have a couple of tired soldiers after this mission but uh, we will not um, pass on this mission covert ops missions are a great option to uh, counter the dark events and with permanent dark events we really need to make sure that that happens good then general and an escort that is fantastic we got some high ground here and we got a nice little kind of suburban terrain i love it i like fighting with these houses it is just so much fun you can use the vision um the line of uh, uh, line of vision quite well specifically going behind here and here and even through the house so now that is gonna be great i like multi-leveled uh, maps they give you a lot of opportunities to just move and outplay the enemy making the rounds. okay barely not barely not discovered um how about we're moving everybody up here a good decision And next turn, we're trying to stay out of line of sight for now. Next turn, we're just going to pass by. Hopefully, these guys are not just going to rush into us. Yeah, we're fine. Given that they are moving kind of in this direction, I just so think that the general might be over here. Uh, what the enemies are often trying to do is like stand in the way of the general. There is another pack. There are definitely a lot of enemies down there. Let's find out. Okay, so five enemies down there. You gotta hate those large scale maps. Again, no one over there. Interesting. We march towards enlightenment. Let's try to bypass both of these packs and instead. Our oppressors yeah, there we go. Yeah. That's our target. All right. No need to ask twice. Double time. Time. On the move. Moving as far away as possible. These guys here might uh, want to um, engage with, uh, on us. 
but we can move away from them for now so that we will get another turn before they are engaged on us. Enough to deal with this guy here. Ooh, nice little skull mining. Yeah, we're going to get to a skull mining in a bit. Moving on target location. Or now I would simply want to move away. What are the heck rewards? Those are relevant as well. Just in case something is going wrong. This orientation is fantastic. That is a flashbang, a global flashbang for everyone. Um, and there's only a low chance for reinforcements. So yeah, that's a pretty damn good reward. Getting it done. All right, let's move hog bite. Yeah, I think we're just Here's going to put him down. there. This here would be perfect positions, but yeah, as mentioned initially, Probably not um, the best positions to now scout them out. We, we'll just wait for one more turn, and that's going to be fine. That's affirmative. All right, we're going to hunker down. These guys will probably be triggered. Another patrol there. Okay. Okay, so we're seeing one of them. Let's move up. Still seeing this guy here. Okay. And I'm just trying to move out of the way as far as possible. I want to not pull that peg, right? Because we already pulled two pegs over here. Good. Moving completely in the open, that's normally a very dumb move, but we got a Mimic Beacon theoretically ready. The chance of them shooting at us is low. Um, but yeah. Let's see, the way to go. Let's trigger is only two packs. All right, got one focus. Let's try to get this guy down. Now we're going to trigger. Nice little blade storm. Zap, zap. Okie dokie, wonderful. Preparing teamwork over to Hogbite.
You know, this here wouldn't be too bad. But this would be even better, I think. Good. So, now, since we're in position... Hmm. First things first. Giving Hawkbite... A protocol, potentially. We can also do a hack, but both of that would end our turn. Let's start with hacking, and then we can always finish off some of these guys. I like the idea of a full disorientation. I don't like the idea of a group of reinforcements being called in. I would love to get Hawkbite closer to here. Can't do that at the moment. Finishing the Advent General. Very good. We need to clear the area of any remaining hostiles. We can't allow them to recover the general's body. We're using another combat protocol to get rid of the Lancer. Good, so that's two down. We do not yet have any form of blade storm on Roby, which is unfortunate. Might move up. Quick feet here. It's going to solidly hunger down. We could put Hawk Bite to here. Uh, that will give him maximum focus, which is helpful, and he's in solid cover, and he also has one uh, parry up his sleeve. Additionally, we're going to put a Mimic Beacon to here. That forces the Stun Lancer to move past Hogbite and at least take one hit. This here is unfortunate. Very unfortunate. We're going... Uh, we have a pretty strong pack. And we got another add. Ouch. All right, that's one hit. There's the blade storm I was um, counting for. Nice little retaliation. And that's the parry. Okay, so that worked out well. The mimic beacon did exactly what it was supposed to. Okay, well, this here is going to suck. Okay, I'll go. Let's start to do what we're supposed to do, which is kill these guys. One hit, very nice. And another one, just to slash him down. There you go, that's oh, one down. Good. Next up. Let's get that heavy Lancer. Oh, unfortunately a dodge. Oh, that is very, very unfortunate. Yeah, we're saving the school mine for him because he is quite tanky. Thanks for 
Alright, we got another Mimic Beacon if need be. Hmm, who should get the Mimic? Uh, the 8 Protocol. Potentially, we should simply give it to someone in the front line, like over here, or alternatively Sonar, because he can be flanked from the left side. And we're then charging over to get a nice little skull check going. Oh, are you kidding me? Well, that was suboptimal, to say the least. Could use the Comet Protocol to finish him. But that would mean we can't use the Mimic Beacon, right? Alright, moving up, just so that I can see how the arc wave is going. Yeah, that is perfect. That could be a two for one. And it is a two for one. Perfect. That's exactly what I was looking for. Could theoretically move up. And trigger another hit. With Bladestorm. That would be a very aggressive gameplay. At the same time, I think it is warranted. Let's give it an 8 protocol. And we're using momentum instead of it. If this here explodes, we would be immune. Okay, we're just throwing the second Mimic Beacon, mainly to not get shot. Yeah, that looks fine. So far, so good. This here triggers the Blade Storm. Not a kill. Unfortunate. We still have deflect. Or straight out miss, of course. Shield. Oh no, the mimic beacon, perfect. Yeah, even better. Damn right. Okay, we're doing fine. We're doing fine, reasonably well, I would say. Very nice. Stone to almost kill. Perfect outcome would be a stun. And that unfortunately did not happen. We are instead seeing a clone. And I don't want to move too far up there.
Hawkbite is essentially moving up and tries to not pull even more. Very much unsuccessful. I was really trying to not pull these guys. Okay, can kill one more codex. We could probably kill the advent here. Yeah, and Hogbite is going to take some damage. I cannot change that. This is um, kind of the phase of the um, of of this run, or the phase of this particular mission, where I am running out of cooldowns to prevent damage, and we're now going to need to to deal with essentially, yeah, reducing the damage that's incoming. We're going to take one hit over here. Not sure how how or why that exploded, but we're going to take one hit uh, from uh, from the trooper. This is just going to be a psionic bomb. Nothing meaningful for us. Yeah, the trooper will essentially, like I said, take one hit. Overwatch tongue. Tongue missed, okay. That's probably going to be a shot or poison. Yeah, fortress makes us immune, so that's good. Okay, it takes the eight protocol. This here is not triggering Overwatch because we're not triggering Overwatch with our Rangers. We're currently eliminating all of the remaining foes here. Enemy eliminated. All right, moving up. Oh, this is very much triggering. And yes, uh, it's again Halo, the guy who has spent more time in the sick bay than anyone else. What a fitting situation for him of course we're immediately going to heal that up the explosion will not do anything to us so we should be fine it will, however, hurt everyone else. So might as well parry, well knowing that this will be a bind. We cannot do much against bind. Okay. Moving into cover. I'll leave the aid protocol for now. So that Hogbite can take it next round. Hogbite is going to take some damage from the bind. This is the Bladestorm. Very nice. The have 
He is parrying it, of course. There you go. Explosion will kill uh, the mutant. Apparently this guy didn't want to bind us, otherwise he could have. Poison uh, or tongue triggers blade storm. Bind does not, but tongue does. And the explosion. Bam. <laughs> Destroys him. Alright, that should have been the last one. Yeah, we got quite a few wounded soldiers. But um, I think none of them should be like uh, wounded for a very long. Probably the ranger um, uh, will be wounded quite a bit. The others shouldn't. Okay, let's take a look. Seven days, yeah, that's fine. Halo also only eight days and ten days. Well, that's not too bad. Halo gets his promotion and finally learns the secrets of Shadow Step so that he will never be hit by an overwatch shot again. At the same time, let's improve Field Medic. I like the idea of just having more healing. This run here is pretty much a slugfest in having enough healing. Uh, proves to be invaluable for us. Good, we got ourselves a specialist, lieutenant. Let's take a look. Jammer, well, not too bad. He looks a little bit like a horror movie action figure, sort of. But as long as he is doing his job we're well, I see no problem with having him on board. Like we're starting to get the civilians' attention in the colonies. It's important that the crew knows people out there need us and want us to help turn this thing around. Okay. They have to know there's a promote the soldier. Let's give him combat protocol. Yes, please. Revival protocol. Yes, please. Field medic. Yes, please. And he starts with 12 AP. That's enough to. Go to the training center and train some abilities for him. So, Jammer will get medical protocol. Yep, wonderful. That's good. Anyone else? That's not too bad. I mean, I like sonar and blast padding is fantastic. Adding reflexes isn't bad either. I like scanning protocol. I like Haywire, all of the abilities are good for him. But I think we're going for Haywire just because it's a unique ability. See, so yeah, it's pretty good. Eight uh, points for himself. That's not bad. Quick Feed is fantastic with a genius level um, intelligence, plus a lot of AP. Yeah, just no points to spend it in. Yeah, we got plenty of really interesting additional abilities, but not enough points. So that's probably one of the big downsides of this run. You're usually getting AP for, uh, for shooting from the rooftop shooting from a flanking situation and so on and so forth. Resistance contact is very important. That will just give us one more resistance contact. So I think we cannot heal immediately. Two more days until the infirmary. Um, I'm okay. I'll, I'll take the risk. We're, we're going to get the engineer first and then we're going to get the resistance contact. Engineer, six days, and resistance contact afterwards. So, really good rewards, actually. 
and just as we were talking there is of course something interrupting us operation death tower in this case um and that's going to be an interesting one because we do not have enough soldiers to field so we might be losing this mission who can we field specialists ranger specialist ranger all of almost all of them tired by the way maybe it's time for the psi operatives to do their job If I want to win the mission, uh, there is not there is not much room for negotiation here. It looks like double ranger, double specialist, and then probably double psi operative, because we're running out of folks that can actually participate. Damn it! It's a bit early for them, but with uh, the necessary. Um, chaining of stasis after stasis we at least have a good crowd control so yeah maybe we're going to do that uh, it's very early but i know that you guys like kind of early mid-game psi operative so it might be an interesting mission that brings us to the end of today's episode i hope you enjoyed uh, the slugfest a bit uh, we are surprisingly successful in the mid game I figured it would be much, much harder at this point, but we're still fighting against uh, the Doom Clock. We're still kind of low on contacts and so on and so forth. So a lot of the things um, are pretty hard for it. Um, it does not feel like anything comes easy in this run. And that's how it should be. So that's what makes a great run. We're, however, catching up with the infirmary. We should be fine down here. Um, getting the resistance um, the resistance ring and then later the extra contact um, uh, contacts that's enough to really push this um, campaign forward and yeah we're going to get a second psi lab of course as well too bad that the infirmary isn't uh, ready yet because with the hyperventilation module we could send semi-injured characters into the battle and now would be a perfect time to uh, force Hogbite yet again into a battle because with him we could easily do it but that's another problem of this run we have put too many eggs into the Hogbite basket and we're, we got to spread it out and one way of spreading it out is getting really really good Psy operators and a resistance ring to also get a second Templar that's it for today. Thank you for watching, guys. Um, don't forget to like and subscribe, plus leave a comment down below. I know it's a lot, but you also got uh, 33 minutes of um, entertainment. Oops, I should not um, ruin my microphone. Sorry. Um, you got 33 minutes of entertainment and potentially a hearing problem uh, from this mission. And we're going to see each other in the next episode. Bye-bye.